Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about sort of my rebuttal to the criticism about, I think a lot of people who don't really, haven't really figured out their life yet, um, might say about the kind of way that my perspective on going out and, and all this stuff. Um, not because the way I live my life at the moment, see, I've said this in videos before, but uh, just to paint, paint a picture for you guys, it's rather boring, really. I don't go out a lot. Um, I spend most of my time doing some kind of work, whether that's, you know, something more fun like these YouTube videos or, or just doing my uni work or, um, or going to the gym. Like, those kind of the three things I do. I don't do a terrific amount. Beyond that, I um, haven't always been able to stick to this. It's a work in progress, but I tend to go to bed um, fairly, um, fairly, sorry guys, you can't really see me, can you? Uh, fairly early and wake up very early. Well, that's the kind of trajectory I'm on at the moment. Um, and, you know, at the face of it, you compare it to something like you know, like the average sort of first year or second year's student life. And it's like going out every weekend, staying up to like three to four in the morning, um, maybe even later, you know, drinking lots, talking to girls, you know, making friends, um, go, going to clubs and like listening to music all night. And it just sounds like so much fun and you know, you're not really doing any work, you know, fuck that, like, you know, just get the bare minimum and spend the rest of your time, you know, going out, um, put, chatting to girls, you know, all this kind of stuff. It, and it, you know, people kind of see the life I live and they're like, that looks horrendously boring. Like, I don't know why I'd live that. You'd live that. Um, and take it from someone that has come from both sides that's you know I want to get a balance of both um, of course I do and I'm probably slightly I'm not quite figured out what the balance is um, but the kind of life I'm living at the moment is so much better than the life I'm living I lived before where I was doing all that typical uni stuff of going out getting pissed every night, um, you know, trying to chat up girls and stuff like that. So much better. And I'm not talking about, like, product, the productivity. I'm not talking about it being a more holy, sort of, you know, productive lifestyle. Um, you know, like, I'm, I'm not talking about it better in the sense that I'm getting more work done or that it's more righteous to live that kind of life. I'm just talking in the pure pleasure I derive from it. It's so much more fun. And I was thinking about this recently and I'll try and explain it. So I think the, the only explanation I can, I can have for this, sorry, the sun keeps kind of blocking the camera, but I hope you guys can see me. Um, the only explanation I can come up for this is that when you're going out, like going out to a club or whatever, if you're in that thing where you've got that unlock, you're doing it, you know, most nights, or, you know, that's kind of your priority as you see life. Um, what you don't realize is the only time you actually enjoy your life is in that time when you're clubbing. The rest of it is no fun at all. Um, you know, you wake up late, you, you know, and you feel like a bit shitty, you know, you're tired. Um, you kind of, the dopamine receptors are, are fried. Um, you know, you have some foods. You know, you do, like, you know, maybe you try and do a bit of work and then, um, oh, it's six o'clock. Oh, um, let's all do some pre's, let's do some pre's. Oh, we'll go out to a club. And suddenly it's really fun, really fun, really fun, really fun. You know, dancing, music, um, you know, um, having a cig outside the club, you know, get a nice nicotine rush. Oh yeah, really nice. And then you wake up again the next day, you're hungover. And then it's just boring, you're tired. You're not really making much of the day. And then, oh, let's go out again. You just get that cycle over and over again. I don't want to make a fool of myself by just <laughs> going over it again. 
But, um, but that's the kind of thing, really fun, really fun for when you're there. The rest of your life, it's just, you, 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 there's nothing going on with it. You know what I mean? You don't take pleasure about any other part of the day. And what I've learned about this kind of balanced, balanced lifestyle, this lifestyle I'm living at the moment, is that you can take pleasure out of the simple things. And it's something that people always say, and it sounds so cliche. Um, because most people who say it, they don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. Um, but with the kind of my kind of day at the moment, it's like, you know, let's say it's one of those days I've really got on lockdown, I managed to go to bed early, and I wake up at like six, you know, and within five minutes of my conscious experience, I'm going outside and I'm seeing the sun rise. I'm seeing, you know, I'm smelling the dew that's still in the air. You know, like, that's kind of a smell that I remember, remember from, like, my childhood. And I'd only really smell it at, like, festivals or whatever. But, you know, if you wake up at six every morning, you get that smell every day. And it might sound like a tiny thing, but, you know, already you get that. That's amazing. Um, and then, you know, nice coffee, you know, it tastes really nice. Do a nice bit of work, nice work bow, maybe go to the gym. You know, it's just every part of your day, you're getting pleasure out of it. Um, and then, I mean, the other thing I realized is like, you hit the hay at like nine, 10 o'clock. That sounds so dull. But actually, if you've worked hard during the day, um, it's so nice, it's so nice. Your body just feels so like, you feel your body just this beautiful cocktail of just uh, hormones just flowing through your veins, and your body's just like, yeah, this is this feels right. Um, yeah, it feels amazing. Uh, um, if you really get on lockdown, it's, it's hard to do. And you know, I'm I'm painting a rather idealised picture at the moment from the, from this. I don't really do this routine all the time. You know, I start doing it a bit um, at the moment because of other commitments and stuff I'm more kind of you know going to bed at like getting up at like 9 30 that kind of stuff so more typical but um but so just to full honesty but yeah I don't know it's just I just feel this this side needs to be said um because it's just so much better it's just so much better as a full-on day um so yeah um, I hope this is sort of encouraging to people who maybe haven't, um, you know, they never, never really considered that you can like get up early and do something productive. They've never seen that as something that's actually, um, fun. But I really, I really think, I really want to emphasize that because that is really yeah, what's, um, that's really what drives me to do it. That's what drives most people to do it. Not, not everyone. But like these people like Hamza and and First Man, actually maybe First Man I don't know, but but Hamza is definitely very big on this idea that it's fun. Like he wants to get up early because he enjoys it. Um, and yeah. So anyway, I just think it's easy to see someone partying, having fun, you know, on a night out, and they might look like they're having the time of their life. But you see the same person like oh, I remember seeing like certain people at forty twos. Um, you know, and they, they look like they're having a whale of a time when I served them. And of course they were, and I'm not criticising that at all. You know, have your fun, you know. Um, but then I'd see them, I'd recognise them at uni, and they just look so slumps over, kind of, you know, just that kind of vibe of, like, weakness, you know, and, like, low energy, low, like, low frequency. Um, and it's just, it's just very sad. To see them go from that innocent sort of bliss of sort of partying and, and that sort of excitement of partying to just like the rest of their day, they're just that, there's someone's completely different, they, they're slumped over, you know, I, I don't like to use this kind of language, but like sort of beta, very like very sort of beta body language. Um, it's just the best way I can describe it, you know, and it's just, I don't want to say that to gloats because oh, they're nice people. Um, but you just see the other side of it. Um, you, well, well, you don't a lot of the time, that's the thing. Um, but anyway, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll speak to you guys soon.